Well, here's a question for you, a personal question. How have you been feeling today? Did you bound out of bed with a smile on your face, ready to take on the day, or wake up on the wrong side, dreading what lay ahead? If you are miserable, uh, maybe Blue Monday is to blame. That's today, supposedly the most depressing day of the year, when the Christmas bills come due and springtime and the next holiday seems so very far away. But CTV's Andrew Johnson uh, had trouble finding any frowns today. Notice anything different about downtown Victoria? The sidewalks are empty. Those who have ventured out do so only with grim determination. Are you okay? Uh, kind of feeling a little sick. Because it's the most depressing day of the year, Blue Monday. I gotta get out of here, I think I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh, sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. And this case is serious. A UK researcher even came up with a formula to prove why we feel so terrible right now. Christmas debt, failed New Year's resolutions. Our next vacation feeling so far off. How are we going to survive until spring? It, it's, it's entirely bogus. Blue Monday? No. Then why is everyone so sad? I feel great today, Me too. Actually. Yeah, I don't feel depressed at all. Look, these guys are walking around in public in their pajamas. They must be down in the dumps. We're all having a great day. <laughs> ah! I will not be depressed, I refuse. We can't find anyone who's not happy. And look at you smiling, wipe that off. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> All right, we tried. The Royal Roads University professor is right. There doesn't seem to be much to Blue Monday. In fact, it may actually improve your mood. This is very much a bonding opportunity, okay? So, so it's something you can talk about at the water cooler. And that formula was actually created for a travel agency to encourage people to book vacations. Experts agree January can be a tough time of year, but singling out a specific day is just made up. Say somebody were to come along and say, hey, you know what? This is Happy Monday, okay? You know, we, we've passed the solstice. The, 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 the days are getting longer. We've gone through all that, you know, that, that holiday turmoil. We no longer have to write cards to people or buy gifts and so forth. Now we can just be calm and spend time with the family and, you know, so, so, so we can go on ski vacations and so This is the happiest time of the year. Doggone it, he's right. He is indeed. Andrew Johnson joins us now live with more. Andrew, well, we're having some fun with this, but of course depression uh, is serious, and there are folks who don't think Blue Monday is very funny at all. That's right, Hudson. The Blue Monday topic, while it was blowing up on Twitter this morning, along with the people having a good time with it, there were many pointing out depression is not something we should ever be taking lightly. One person tweeted, Blue Monday is a PR stunt that belittles mental health issues. And as we mentioned in the story, January is often a time when mental health workers see a rise in depression and suicides. Others, though, argue all this talk about Blue Monday is improving awareness of depression and is actually a good thing. Well, talking about it is a good thing, and that's why, you know, the Bell Let's Talk campaign that we're part of next month uh, is so important. Right. All right. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.